all right so let's continue so now that we have everything that we need we have the spreadsheet we have the apis like the service account now we just need to create the next js application so let's do that so uh we will be using a ui framework uh with our next js application and the one that we're going to use is mui formerly known as material ui we're going to use the version 5 the latest one as of right now and it's a it's a pretty great framework i've been using it for a while and the support plus the components like everything about it it's great like the documentation is very well anyway so we're going to use this framework along with next.js application like with next.js application so we will be making use of a of a template which the team provides specifically for next next.js so for that we first need to click on the getting uh, sorry the get started button on the home page and under the getting started tab there we have the example projects so over here we're going to find the template the example project for next years so let's just click over here and it is linked to a nested directory within a github repository and in order to clone this thing there is already a url so let me just copy this thing there's the button perfect and let me just open up the terminal and let me just zoom it up and now we can just place this thing right over here so it's going to download the particular folder uh, within this repository and i guess it's going to name it as cd nexus okay so the name of it is going to be nexus so let's actually change it right over here before we open up vs code so let me just pause the video so there it is and if we do ls there are the files so i guess we will also have to install the npm packages so let's actually do that once we get to the vs code right now i'm just gonna go to the outer directory and rename the folder from next.js to g sheet bookstore tut for tutorial and now oh i could have used the code command anyway now let's open up vs code and over here we can just open up the folder hmm seems like i kind of downloaded it in the wrong folder should have done that in documents but let me fix it up so there it is yep uh, let me just throw it oh shit not the desktop but the documents okay perfect so there it is and don't worry this is not the template that like this is not the vs code theme that i'm going to use i'm pretty sure that you were kind of terrified when you saw this thing the first time so let me just change this thing real quick so that's much better <laughs> all right so let's just see what all we have right now we have the different well i do not like this theme one second yeah i think that's much better this is the github dark default in case you were curious and the other thing is in case you were wondering like why did i have the white theme i do not work in white theme it's just that the draw io the like the part where we had the diagrams and stuff so uh, that thing gets affected by the theme that you have selected that, like it takes automatically automatically takes the current theme so i at that time i switched to the white theme just for the diagram part anyway without further ado let's see what all do we have and the first thing that we should do is install the npm packages so for that let's just open up the inbuilt terminal and do npm install and let's do that and while that's happening we have like you'll notice a bunch of different things like because we installed or we created this next.js application uh with the mui thingy so you will find a bunch of different things which are kind of the optimal way for these two to work together so there we have and we won't be changing any of it at least for now 
I think we can remove the about us. We don't need that page. And then index. Uh, let's just keep it or let's actually remove the entire thing. Let's remove the entire thing. So we start from scratch, which gives us the fun. All right. So that's what we are going to do. I believe the NPM packages are installed. And there we have the source folder within which we can remove the link, the pro tip, the copyright because these are the components we don't need them we're gonna keep it keep the create emotion cache again it's sort of like a core thing for the mui library to work along with next.js so let's just keep it the the way that it is and for the theme part uh for the time being let's just keep it the same way we're gonna change this anyway so now let's actually spin up the server npm run dev and we should be seeing this thing on the root of our application the next year. so let's so for that there it is all right so that's perfect so yeah now we have the next year's application installed let's work on the part where we fetch data from the store and once we once we are done with that part like once we are able to fetch data out of it then uh, we know that we have the data we just need need to render the ui so before we get to that part before we start uh, kind of showing uis and like different items and different stuff before we do that we will be also covering well, I guess it's it's not that relevant for the development part, but I will be I may like I think I should be skipping that part of designing things from scratch like the UI in Figma. So I'm going to do that uh, behind the cameras. And once I'm done with it, then we're going to develop that thing. Anyway, in the next video, we will be fetching data out of this spreadsheet. So see you in the next one.